Okay, so we've done it. Okay, we've gone through the basic things of the par three, par five, par four, changing the changing the par, the regulation, all that stuff. Okay, good stuff, great stuff. But now we've got to move on to the second part of this thing. Okay, the second part from the play back from the green. You have to plan back from the green. What do you want into the green? You want a decent tee ball in play so you can set up a shot to get you to that shot onto the green. Easy life. Okay, now we have to talk about Get it on the green. Get it on the green. Always remember that. Always remember that. I forget it myself sometimes and I'm a lower handicap. But it still holds true regardless of your handicap. Get it on the damn green. Okay, too many times, me included, I see me, I see other players getting into a position like this with a chip onto a green. Okay, the flag's not too not to uh, scale, probably something more like this for the Karens out there. Okay, we've got to go over this bunker onto the green and all we can focus on, even though this is on a down slope that's sloping away and if you land it there, it's gone. Okay, or we get too cute and we leave it in the bunker. You can watch my, my videos with AJ. Everything's linked in the description below. Where are you? I can't see the ball. Where are you? Okay, there. So what are you going to do here? What are you thinking? Across the hill. Let's go take a stance first. Let's have a look how you stand. Okay, you happy with that? Not, not really. So what do you think? What's changed with your club? What do you think? Where do you, what do you expect to happen? What do you think is going to happen? Uh, the, the chart. Yeah. So what do you think? Run up there. See how you feel. Stand over the ball and tell me what do you think feels nice? Better. Better? Yeah. Go with your what you feel. Fine there, putt for par. Okay. These are the videos you need to watch to break 100. You need to watch every single one and I guarantee with this and with those videos you will break 100. So, we are behind the, the bunker. Heading to a pin that's very close to the front edge. We cannot hit the flop shot when we're trying to break 100. Banish the thought, okay? Banish the thought from the flop shot. All we need is get it on the green. Get it on the green. G-O-I-T-G. G-O-I-T-G. It's an Italian word, okay? G-O-I-T-G. Now, get it on the green means we are not trying to go and flop it like Phil. We are not Phil Mickelson. Phil Mickelson practiced about 100,000 of those shots before he became truly proficient at it, okay? What we want to do is get it on the green. We are not looking at this part of the green here. We are looking at this part of the green here, as long as it holds the green. So take the pin out of your mind and just get the ball to land there and run out onto the green. We are not trying to be fancy here, regardless of where you are. Think how you can get the ball to a position that will allow you to get it on the green if you can't from this position, okay? If you're in this position and you can see the green and it's within range and it's a chip or a pitch or a short shot and you're thinking about attacking that pin left behind the bunker, okay? When you're looking at it like this, you're looking at it, you can see the green here, you can see the pin there, you've got this massive bunker wall here and you've got this little like little upslope here, okay? And this side just falls off. What are we what are we doing here, players? We're not going to be going with a little baby draw because we cannot control our ball flight well enough yet. That's why we're shooting over a hundred. We have to live in the current reality. The current reality is this: the the reality will change as we get better. But what we're going to do is hit our standard shot to this side of the green. 
Get it on the green. Avoid the danger. Do not hit it this side where it's going to roll down and leave you dead. It's going to plug in the bunker and you're going to have an impossible shot. Ignore these, these things that are tempting you. Golf is a game that tries to tempt you to hit before you're ready. To be ready and to not be tempted and fall to the temptation is to begin playing golf and to begin loving life and being in control. Hit it onto the green. Give yourself the best chance of getting up and down. Give yourself the best chance of, of having a stress-free shot. Your pin hunting is going to be your enemy. Pin hunting is your enemy. At best, you want to be hitting to the middle of the green on every hole. At best. You don't want to be attacking pins yet. We will start attacking pins when we are better and control our ball better. For the moment, go for the fattest part of the green. We, I'd like to say hit to Texas. Okay, it's safe, it's conservative, and it's huge. That's what you want to do. Hit it to Texas, okay? Forget about hitting it to this little sliver over here or the pro shot. There is no hero shot in breaking 100 golf. There's no hero shot in breaking 100 golf. Only stupid shots. There are no hero shots, only stupid shots. This is the reality people need to be told. That is a smart shot to hit it away from the pin onto the middle or the right of the green when you have danger on the left and the pin is set behind there. These things are created to make you think you can do something. The course designer knows what you're thinking. He preempted you. You need to play the course. Do not let the course play you. Very important. Get it on the green. The green. Not get it next to the cup. Get it on the green. As you get better, you will get it closer to the hole. The proximity to the hole will get better. But this is breaking 100 golf. This is not strokes gain nonsense for people who are trying to break 100. Players, the next step is two putt maximum. You have to be putting no more than two putts per hole. If your putting is not up to standard of being um, two putts per hole, you need to work on the putting. You can work on the putting, you can watch my putting videos and then practice it. But you have to be practicing. The number one thing that you have to be doing for the short game to be a two putter for your short game. This is going to be key to scoring is your short game. It's a game inside a hundred, right? So we're going, to, we're going to combine it with two putts because Whatever time you're spending on the range hitting golf balls with your, with your 150 club, your pitching wedge, your sand wedge, and you're trialing out your longer club, your 175 plus club, however long you're spending on the range, whatever you're spending on the range, you need to be doing double on the short game. I don't care what anyone says, I don't care what strokes gain says, I don't care what anyone's trying to sell you. You're trying to break 100 at this stage. We're not going for the PGA Tour. We're not going for the US Open, the Masters, the British Open. We're trying to break 100. And to break 100, as you start to see yourself getting closer to those greens because your skills are improving, you're going to be able to start getting up and down more and you're going to see yourself breaking 100 easily. You're going to start seeing yourself getting closer to the 90s. And you're going to see yourself getting to the low 90s. And the only thing separating you is going to be the short game. The difference between you shooting 105 and someone shooting a 93 is going to be that you are hitting the wrong clubs because you've got too many clubs in your bag. And the next thing, once you eliminate that and you start to do what I've told you here of hitting only four clubs maximum with a putter, is you'll start to see the difference between you and the guy five to ten shots less than you is the short game. It's, it's clear, it's evident, it's 100% of the time. It's the putting green, it's the chipping, and it's the inside 100 yard game. Please do not get confused by me calling it the short game. Everyone assumes short game is chipping and putting. No, short game is 100 yards. That, I don't think that means 100 yards and in. Less than 100 yards, okay? Anything less than 100 yards is the short game. This is the scoring zone. Every professional golfer will tell you, let any mid-handicapper hit the tee shots. I'll take over from inside 120, and we will shoot better scores by 10, 15 shots. Because the, the pros know this is where scoring is done. Yes, the, there's lots of nonsense out there. I want you to ignore all of it. Ignore all of that stuff that's trying to lure you into buying crap you don't need. You need to focus on this.
If you're spending an hour at the range, you're doing two hours on the short game. It can be putting in your house, chipping in your garden, getting a mat and chipping in your condo if you don't have space, putting on a carpet with a ruler. It can be on a practice green. It can be at the driving range, hitting your sandwich and your pitching wedge inside 100 yards. Whatever it is you're doing, it's inside 100 yards. And inside 100 yards is bunkers. It's bunkers. It's chips. It's pitches. So chips of like 20 yards, 10 yards, pitches of like 20, 30, 40, 50 yards, 60 yards. It's putting. These are the things that you need to work on twice as hard as when you hit balls on the range. When you're hitting 150, 170 yard and a pitching wedge club, you're not really going to have much problem with that on the golf course. You're going to get that pretty quickly building the backbone of your game. To really put the nerves together in your backbone of your game and get some feeling going and some some brain activity, you're going to need to work on the bunkers, the chips, the pitches, and the putting. If you can do anything, players, if you're a new player, please do not underestimate how interconnected every single thing is. Putting is connected to chipping, is connected to pitching, is connected to bunkers, is connected to your, your, full, your, your long game, okay? How do I know this? Because I am a f I used, I, I'm trying to eliminate this this flipping action in my golf game. That means that I was always super at bunkers. Isn't that amazing? Because the bunker shot is a flip shot. My chips can get a bit yippy. Why? Because I start to use my wrists. Pitches are very inconsistent. Why? Because I flip the ball. Putting, whoa, it can be good, but then slowly I develop as my swing devolves because of some bad swing thoughts, my putting also changes. So it's all connected. If you can do one thing, players, no joke, Start from the hole. Just like we said, just like we said when we're on the course, we work back from the hole. This is how we practice. We practice from the hole backwards. That's why I say two to one to the range. That's why I say start with putting. Start with a one footer. Start with a two footer. Start with a three footer, four footer, five footer, six footer. That's how you start. You start with that. That that move, the idea of hitting a golf ball is connected to the chip shot, which is a bit of a longer shot. It's connected to the pitch shot, which is a longer shot, which is connected to the full shot, which is what you're practicing on the range. So we move from putting to chipping to pitching to the range. It's all interconnected. My whole philosophy of this is to work back from the green, get it on the green, two putt maximum. Do you see how it's all connected? When you have only a few clubs, you have only a few shots that you can work on, but you can translate those, those shots into other clubs later on. You start with putting. Putting is essential. You can't be three putting. No three putts, no four putts, only two putts or, or less. This is the center of your game. This is where you go from, um, let's say you start shooting around 100, you get into the high 90s, and then you improve this even more. Maybe hit one longer club off the tee, and you start to get into the low 90s and start breaking 90. This is guaranteed. I'm not making this up. I can't sell you a product that's going to make you do this. You better go do it. No one practices the short game. No one. They all want to bomb driver on the driving range, hitting 100, you know, 100 balls in a bucket, 80 of them driver, and the other 20 just warm up pitch shots. No. That's backwards. We're doing it different. We work back from the hole. Putting, chipping, pitching, range. Two hours, one hour. One hour, 30 minutes. 15 minutes, 30 minutes. Whatever. It's a two to one ratio. Remember it.